morning, TPSD students and parents. I'm Greg Ellis, here for Distance Learning 101 on ABC WTBA. We hope you're having a great day. And this morning, we are joined by Rankin PE coach, Gina Fremont. Ms. Fremont, Coach Fremont, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. It is very important during these times, especially when we're not in school, to stay active, to eat mm -hmm. healthy. It's easy to stay in bed or play games and not do that, mm -hmm. but uh, today we want you to kind of tell us the importance, and you've got some activities and exercises mm -hmm. and all kind of things for us to do. Today. Yes, I do. It is um, extremely important for the kids to stay active. Um, you know, when they're at school, they are not just sitting in the classroom. Right. Um, they're up moving around. They're going to their small group time. They're going to their carpet time. Um, they're going to their bathroom breaks. Um, they have lunch time. They have recess time. They get PE. They get different activities. And so um, we want to make sure that during this time that they're not just sitting down playing video games and watching TV um, exactly. and just doing their homework, exactly. um, that they're actually taking an opportunity to to dive into the fitness part also and keep those um, muscle groups and, and the health part of it uh, going. You can get out of shape real quick. Ooh, <laughs> yes. All right. Well, you have a lot planned for us, so we're going to dive in and, uh, let, and let's get started. Okay. So we want to make sure that um, they're getting some activity in every day, okay. whether that is um, in between their the work that they're doing for their teachers um, or after school <laughs> time. Air quotes. That's right. Um, so um, what I've given my students at Rankin is a, just an opportunity for different things. Gotcha. Um, not just cardio and muscle building, but some games that they can actually play with it. So I found... Now, are these things you do anyway um, during PE or is this kind um, of a... This is kind an of alteration. this is this is an alteration <laughs> to what um, they can do at home, gotcha. um, and not just do because we do a lot of games okay. um, that we incorporate the physical part of it, but they don't know that they're actually getting right. the the physical activity in because they're competing. Right. Okay. So this is something called "What's Your Name," and students will spell out their full name and complete the activity listed for each letter. So they can do their first name, their middle name, their last name. Um, they they can just do their last name. They can actually do their parents' name. They, they can get their parents involved and, um, and make it a family uh, fitness night. There you go. Okay. Uh, something else that we do is uh, they need some dice, but there is a workout uh, with using dice. And so uh, roll the dice workout, roll for fitness. Um, they need two dice for this activity, and they would add the numbers up for the two dice on the one game um, and uh, do the activity that comes along with it. So if I were to roll a three and a four. Mm -hmm. On this first game, roll the dice workout, you would do 10 push-ups and then you would do 15 mountain climbers. Or on the roll for fitness, you would add it up and if your two numbers came to seven, then you would do 25 jumping jacks. I love Okay, that. or some form of jacks. And I'm sure when, you know, back in the Stone Age when dice were created, I'm sure that's what they had I'm, I'm sure that they did. <laughs> <laughs> some physical activity with it. But it just gives them, and this is actually a way that they can use their math skills. That's true. You know, the lower elementary can use some math skills and um, in with their physical activity. Well, we so. saw earlier uh, with Miss uh, Miss Stafford put geometry into art, yep. so you're going to put That's right. PE into math. That's right. So. Absolutely. Um, if you have a deck of cards, then there's two workouts here. Um, using just a plain deck of cards, students will draw one card and complete the task. And on one of the activities, if you have a heart, you do that many crunches. Okay. Um, if you draw, draw a um, queen on the playing card fitness, you would do 23 line jumps. Okay. So, and so, and all the activities are pretty self-explanatory. Um, they're pretty easy, And but later on in the video, I have explained some of the different okay. um, cardio activities. If you have a deck of UNO, you can do an UNO workout. Um, draw a card and follow the card's command. So there's lots of different ways to have fun. You can play with your siblings. Um, if you have some cousins that have been able to come over during your social distancing time, then it's always a way that you can uh, play with other people or you can just play by yourself too. I just love the creativity because if kids get bored with something, they're not going to do it. Um, right. If I get bored with something, I'm yeah. not going to do it. So I love this, and, and, and I like what you brought out earlier, 
that it's not just for the kids. Hey, mom and right. dad, granddad, grandma, and uncle, join yep. in. Let's, That's right. let's make it family fun. Now. That's right. Well, Mississippi um, has the highest um, obesity rate, and so this is actually an opportunity that we could uh, flatten the curve for Mississippi there, there in go. more ways than one. So um, another activity um, that kids can do um, and just kind of relax is yoga. So I've, I'd put on um, a, sh a screen that shows the different moves for yoga. Um, yoga helps kids to relax. It relieves stress and anxiety. They can sleep better, improve emotional regulation, increase empathy, and improve mood. And who doesn't need to improve their mood during this time? I need to. So, and they can hold each, um, each move for about 10 to 20 seconds and just have a relaxing time. Something that they can also do with family members. And it's good for their joints and muscles it to is, stretch. To stretch. Everything That's out. right. I didn't realize there were that many moves, my goodness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Google can be your best friend. Yes, so. it can be. Um, then we get into some cardio activities. And um, what I did was I filmed some videos, okay. some of those different cardios, and so. Let's explain to everybody what, when you say cardio, mm -hmm. what exactly do you mean by cardio? And what's the goal with it? So cardio helps with your help, your heart and lungs. And, and so you want to, and obviously that's important these days to keep everything um, moving correctly and breathing and just in, in shape. That blood flowing. Yeah, I mean, our, you know, high blood pressure is and heart disease and, and all of those different things play a big part in obesity. And so to, to be able to do different activities like that um, can reduce the chances of getting that. And learning this at such an early age, too, forms habits for a lifetime. Right, exactly. So you, and that's what we want to, that's right. And we, that's what we want to try to do is form a habit now so they can stick with it later. So the first one is just jumping jacks. And everyone usually knows how to, to do this. Um, but you can do this for time. You can say, I'm gonna do this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna do this for a minute. Or you can say, I'm gonna do 50 jacks gotcha. or 25 jacks, whatever, whatever your fitness level is um, to perform jumping jacks. And if you're doing it with the group, no two people are going to be on the same level. So right. if you can if you can only do 10, be proud of that That's 10. right. Don't try to do, if your dad can do 100. That's right. You know, it's... And you can modify. I mean, okay. you know, um, kids can modify and, and, or, you know, grandparents can modify. Right. They can do step outs. Um, you know, the kids may do the regular jumping jack and the grandma may just do the step out. Right. You know, form... Uh, version of it. So, um, and mom they, and dad works for them too. Don't be embarrassed if your kids that's right. uh, outperform take you. To the shed. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and most kids will try. That's what I have found out in uh, at Rankin Elementary is they they love to compete. Competition so, is uh, is a uh, it's, it's a good thing. It it's is. Thing. It can be. And <laughs> uh, the next one is mountain climbers, and this is just another good cardio. Um, the kids at Rankin love to uh, do a little bit of cardio to start our activities. So we always have a about a five minute warm up. Um, and so this is just another cardio activity and you can do this for time or uh, for quantity. How many are gonna do? So you say it's good to do the cardio at the beginning um, of, of a class just to kind of get you going, get the blood? I mean, we do. Okay. We, we try to pick some kind of cardio activity, whether it's we walk or jog around okay. the gym for five minutes. We may do some jumping jacks. We may do um, some form of work, weight training, sit-ups, push-ups, something like that. Um, sometimes we make it a game. Sometimes we do two lines and they have to run up to the center cone and play rock, paper, scissors. There you go. You know, and the winner takes the other kid back to their team. So there's some running involved and, um, but they just don't know it because they, they're all they're focused on is the, the competition part of it. Well, I so. remember one day we were out looking at the, at the renovations to the, to the gym where, where you teach your classes. And uh, I looked up, and the kids were running mm -hmm. in, in those circles, and they were going full speed. Mm -hmm. How did she get them to do that full speed? Now it makes sense. Yeah. You them. That's right. Well, and I try to tell them, you know, I always say, I'm going to ask you at the end of the five minutes how many laps you were able to do. And so they always, you know, now we have to keep them honest by 
you know, I have to kind of watch them too. Right. Or I sometimes I jog with them, you okay. know, so I kind of know how many they're doing. Gotcha. Uh, but you know, I just say run at a, a pace that you can keep up with. And if you have to slow down, that's okay. Right. Walking is better than than sitting or standing. Exactly. So um, another activity would be high knees. And uh, this really gets the heart rate up, but you can do this for time also or the quantity. Um, another activity is jump squats. And I love jump squats because not only does it get your heart rate up, but it actually um, works your leg muscles too. Okay. And, um, and so this is probably my favorite exercise that, um, that I do for cardio. I can't get past the pool. I'm ready to go swimming now. <laughs> <laughs> um, my kids, I have them do burpees. And that's not their favorite, but it's another activity that they do, um, that we do quite a bit. And we only get in maybe two, three, four, uh, but it's probably it's the host that it is. It's the <laughs> hardest one. It's exhausting. All right. Well, great. We've off to a great start. And when we, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, what are we going to learn when we come back? We've got some activities for cardio okay. and some weight training ideas. Oh boy. All right. Well, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Distance Learning 101 here on ABC WTVA. I'm Greg Ellis, and today we're with Coach Fremont from Rankin. And wow, I'm already exhausted from that first <laughs> segment. I uh, can't wait to get home and try this. And I, well, we want you to know we're going to put all this on our website okay. so that you can go and give it a try. And let us know how you're doing. Mom and dad, take pictures of your kids. Kids, take pictures of your mom and dad. Post it on Twitter, on Facebook, and use the hashtag uh, TPSD, and we'll we'll share. With I'd everybody. love to see some ranking kids out there too. And I know you miss your students. I do, too. I do. They are so much fun. All right. Well, we've uh, we had a good cardio workout, and we're going to continue with some more cardio. We are. Is that right? Okay. Right. Um, this is just three workouts that I found. Um, very easy. Um, you know, it can take anywhere from five to. 10, 15 minutes to do a set, maybe 20, just depending on how okay. many sets you want to do. Um, but this is just some options that kids have available. And that's what I try to do for my students at Rankin. I try to give them a daily um, activity to, to work out with. Okay. And, um, um, but I also think it's important that we weight train mm -hmm. um, to build muscle groups. And you can't just do all cardio. You need those muscle groups um, for st stability. Right. And so I've put together some different uh, videos to show um, for some weight training. And some of these don't need any type of um, weights at all. Okay. Um, but some you might want to. Okay. So my options that I found that kids have at home, um, everyone has cans. And so you can go raid the uh, ca uh, cabinets at home and pull up some cans and go. use as your, you know, weights nice. to do some of the different activities. Um, and if they're not heavy enough, of course, then what I've done is I've taken a gallon water jug and you can just when you finish your milk or your orange juice or your sweet tea um you can always fill it up with water this weighs about eight and a half pounds okay so you can adjust it wherever you need to get the weight that you need and you can use one or two um for some weights. I love so, that recycling and I will never view my pantry this same. That's right that's <laughs> right so this is just a quick uh push-up um exercise you can the girls can do girls, or if you're just starting out, it doesn't matter. You can do girls, you're on your knees. Okay. Um, or if you are more inclined to do the boys' push-ups, then you're on your toes. Okay. Okay? Um, and you can do three to four sets and start with whatever you can do. Okay. I mean, I think that's important not to say, well, you have to do so many. Um, start with what you can do. Would you suggest that you kind of keep a log and see where you start and then in two weeks' time? Where, where you're at. There. Absolutely. Okay. I think that any of these activities, um, you need a, a beginning point. Right. And, and it doesn't actually hurt to take pictures. There you go. And this is for kids and adults, before you know, and before and afters, you know, it might, you'd be surprised. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Um, so biceps are important. Everyone likes a little bicep, uh, you know, to be strong and, and 
So I've recorded. I'm using the, the jugs. The jugs. Yeah. And uh, there's different ways that you can do it. You can do hammer curls or just regular bicep curls. Um, on the internet, there's lots of different ways to, to work your bicep muscles. Okay. Okay. Isn't Another, the internet a great thing? Uh, you just find everything. Gosh, yes. Uh, what would we do without it? <laughs> Um, another exercise is for shoulders. So you have shoulder presses. Take your jugs or your cans and uh, just press them up and start working those shoulder muscles. Okay, and lots of different exercises that you can find. Another muscle group is your triceps, the backs of your arms. So taking those jugs or cans and just keeping your elbows high and pressing out behind you. Um, Chest muscles. So this, this muscle um, activity that I'm showing right here is a chest press okay. to a fly. Oh, wow. So you're working the chest muscles plus you're working um, the outer of your, right under your arms too. I would think that'd be great for swimmers. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Any, I mean, baseball players, um, I mean, basketball players, any sport. I mean, these kids that are aspiring to be... Um, in sports one day. I mean, it can't hurt to start now. Builds that upper strength. Yes. I didn't change the thing. But this is working your back muscles. So you're just taking the jugs and you're leaned over and you are pulling those jugs all the way to squeeze the shoulder blades. And I've noticed you've, you've bent your knees a little bit. Yes, you're bent over, yeah, you're bending knees, you're bent over at the waist, um, and you're trying to just really squeeze as you pull gotcha. those uh, jugs up. Um, leg muscles, extremely important. Lunges, um, so I do one leg out and just do a stagnant lunge and then I would switch to the other side and do the, the right side or vice versa. And then another leg activity is that you can use um, just a chair or a stool or a step if you have stairs in your house. Um, but I've kind of combined step ups and squats together. Gotcha. So you get a little bit of um, a double move there. And then the last one is to work your abs. Um, I have two exercises here. One is just working your core, okay. okay, and it's called the plank. And you are on your toes. You're on your toes, you're on your elbows, and you're building a bridge with your body. And you wanna keep that position and hold it, you know, start with 10 seconds, and, okay. and like we talked about before, increase it and keep a log of how long you can hold it, okay? You'd be surprised um, uh, strengthening your core, what we'll do for uh, n not just the muscle groups, but um, the bone structure too. Gotcha. And then heel taps. And um, this is to work your oblique muscles and your, ta your, your knees are bent and you are going side to side, just ta tapping each heel, Okay. okay? So, I've, what I've done on here is I've given you some, I've given the students um, for Tupelo some activities okay. for each muscle group. Um, and like I said, you can use cans of food, gallon water jugs, two liter bottles, um, anything basically that you can hold in your hand um, that you can, you know, throw up or to the side or to the back. Okay. And then when you're done with the water, you can drink it. So. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, but we have shoulder exercises. We have back um, for different back exercises, um, the arm exercises, you want your abs of steel, um, shoulders and triceps, biceps, legs, toning the butt, all kinds of things. And basically, I just want you to move. I just want them to move. Um, and so what I've also done is I've found some different things um, that they could do and create that they're, they're still using physical activity, but it's not your normal cardio or weight training session. They can create a hopscotch in their driveway or sidewalk, using sidewalk truck. Um, I've put on different ways um, to build your hopscotch. Okay. Um, they can play balloon tennis. Get some balloons, get some fly swatters, and they can, I mean, they can play by themselves, or they can play with um, siblings, you know, parents, um, inside or outside. So it's not just an outside game. They can actually do it around the house as long as there's 
<clears throat> nothing around them, you know. <laughs> I've never heard of balloon tennis, but yeah, yeah. you can really play by yourself because it's yeah. not like the balloon is going to be flying no. across. No, so You can run back and forth. That's right. That's right. And you can play in a circle, so you can just hit it to each other. Or you can actually, maybe as a net, you can use chairs. Put chairs up in between um, and, you know, you and another partner stand on each side of the chairs and, and enjoy a little game of balloon tennis, okay? Um, I've put on a movement choice board. So pick a square, do the activity, and color that square in. And so, you know, it's different things. Um, one of them is puddle jumps, place blue paper on the ground, and jump over the puddles. I mean, very simple, you know. So just different activities just to get them to move. Um, we have a screen-free bingo. Go on a nature walk. Have a picnic. Go on a scavenger hunt. Um, act out a story you've read. Um, you know, so different things, not just um, your normal physical activities, but some things that you don't know that you're being active, right. but you are. Instead of sitting on the couch, playing your video games, watching TV, you're up actually moving and doing things. I have seen, uh, especially on Facebook, our teachers, um, not only in our district, but other districts, the scavenger hunt for any type of lesson seems to be a big hit right mm -hmm. now. Right. Um, yeah. So it's I, fun. I, I like how you incorporate it. Yeah. Um, but we can't just do physical activity. We have to know what we're eating. And the, and this is a, an important time right now because things that we are eating, they are sabotaging our health. Right. So I have also put on some healthy food options. Okay. We have some breakfast options. We have um, some yogurt and fruit parfaits, um, a, a smoothie. Um, if you, you know, the grab and go. If you have time, make some eggs. You know, if you have some time ahead of time, you know, make an omelet, you know. Um, some snack options I've put on here. You want to stay away from your artificial flavors and sweeteners, things okay. that are high in fat, high in carbs, um, and choose from a healthy list. And then our health options, you know, choose a healthy protein, healthy carb, healthy fruit, and healthy vegetable. Um, you know, get in that, that perfect plate that we all make talk sure about. Make colorful. That's right. Make sure it's cold. We talk about the, the healthy plate, and we had the healthy heroes come and talk to my students at Rankin, and they absolutely loved it, and they learned a lot, too. Exactly. So. Wow, this has been an incredible show. I, I, I feel like I'm ready to go work out right. now. <laughs> um, and thank you for taking the time to come. Absolutely. I love it. And you have a little saying for your, your students. To I get do. Them going. So I do. We're going to, we're going to end it with your saying. Okay. Well, in my, in the gym, when I want them to get going and, and start a competition, I say game, they say on. So game on.